Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. We are in, oh, near the end of May of 1723, and this is the year that we're going to rethink some of our town. <laughs> I just got done editing the last two episodes and released those, and, and while watching and, and rethinking things, I think I want to do a few things a little bit different. First of all, well, first of all, hmm... I want to do several things simultaneously. That's the problem, first of all. These guys over here, the carpenter, you are... Boy, there's a name. Shlastislav. Shlastislav? Hmm, Shlastislav. Something like that. <laughs> is going to be building a plow. So, actually, you and Path, once you get to work, you're going to check in. You're going to head over here somewhere and pick up a couple of oxen. Yeah. So, let me try to leave that on the screen, but I doubt I'm going to. I want to get rid of the granary. I want to do this differently. I had aimed it... I was trying to squeeze it between existing pathways, and I got to thinking, we're not limited to any of these existing pathways. We're going to make our own pathways. So, let's build the town the way we want it to, rather than the way, you know, being forced to fit into what's happening already. So for that matter, this needs to go away too. But before I do that, I want to put it somewhere else. So the idea was to get one kind of near this middle entrance, one near this middle entrance. So let's do that. We're going to redo, whoa, we're going to redo that one too. But for the moment, let's get another one in right here real quick. You are a market stall. Um, rotate, there we go. And let's, let's see, so that's the back side. Let's get the business end out over here. And something like... Something like that. Um, not a little more, though. Because, first of all, you... There you are. So, kind of keep track of that as we're working. But I want to run a fence. Hmm. I was going to say run a fence across here. And pop out the middle. The middle, though, would actually be right here, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Demolish. Let's do the fence first. Right there. I think that's the fence that matches this area. If we were to go from here... Oh, that's probably a good size gap there to there. And unfortunately, I can't shift and right-click, can I? No. I've got to do this one step at a time. If I had continued to pop to there and then went to there... I still couldn't delete this little section. It'd still be considered one whole fence, I think. Unless I change its angle a little bit. Maybe, you well, know, it might be worth experimenting with. You're somewhere over there. I want to take you out to about like that. Yeah, there-ish. And let's actually turn the corner a little bit. Something like so. Okay. Now, we could put the marker stall over here. We could do another one over there, another one over here, another one over here. We're going to put some more houses over here so there's more housing near these guys. So we can put another one down over here. I don't want to spread the goods out around town. Um, where did you go? One, two, three, four, five. There you are. You're going to go grab the first oxen, which I can't select to, to know if he's an oxen or not. He's a darker shade. I'm thinking so. <clears throat> Although these three look the same. So you must be an oxen. We're going to do one at a time. So cows and bulls look the same and oxen look different. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, what was I going to say? So, fence just went in there. And so in that case we want to put a market. I'm going to be spinning us around a lot this time, aren't I? Somewhere near the center. That side or this side, I don't know. Um, then I want the, I want a fence back in here, but I need this to be gone to do it. And I want the granary over here facing in. And I'm thinking this guy, let's continue but demolish him. I want him at this end facing into the middle. So we got the center right here, we got the granary facing in, we got the town hall facing in. We'll do other decorations and benches and trees and things in the middle. But let's start firmly, um establishing roads and pathways and so we can start creating those pathways because they all take time to make so if we were to grab you and head over to there this road is getting awfully thick 
And we could really go in with something a lot thinner and make it look a little more real. Um, we're only limited, well, we're limited by the the, corn, the cone of orange doom sticking out. So that's kind of where we're at there. Let's go back and let's try that experiment. If we were to start here a little bit tighter, where do we hit the orange? Okay, it's right there. Okay, if we were to go to here and a little bit narrower pathway, click, move across that pathway, about like that, and move back into here. Can I grab that middle one? I can. Ooh, that's nice. So I can piece this together like that. Okay, in that case, this, this just became a lot easier. Um, yeah, let's narrow these down a little bit more too. Demolish. Now, hello, where are you? There you are. I can't hit delete, can I? No. Demolish. And once more, demolish. All right, let's grab... I wish I could grab this corner and then continue, but I can't. So I've got to head into here, pick him. It snaps to the corner, thankfully. So you are... Well, I wanted you a little bit longer. Let's just throw in a little stub right there. Okay. I want you to go there. Let's rotate a little bit. Yeah, something like that. You're going to go there. You're going to go to there. And we'll tuck you in just a touch. Can I sneak back behind there? I can. All right. And then you're going to head out to... Oh, we need a, br a break in this somewhere. Let's go out to something like there. And let's get it a little bit straighter, like that. And then a, pa a pathway in there. And then a this guy to here. Hopefully this all makes sense when I'm done. About like that. I'm going to go to the center, which is actually this road here. And then a break. And then you're going to end right about here. All right. That goes away. There. Okay. We got another one over here that goes away. And one over here that goes away from these very confused people are wondering what I am doing. I'm going to go the long way around everywhere. All right. So we have a, a firm road established around the perimeter that we're going to dive into around other buildings. This one needs to go away. So we need to... No, we didn't put the other one in. And how's our oxen doing? He's still in there. The other one has been brought over and dropped off right in there. Waiting to be fitted to his new plow. Kind of like putting tires on a car. <laughs> okay, let's get a market stall in somewhere. Hmm. You need to be probably like so. I think so. That would work there. We're going to have another one here somewhere and then one out over there somewhere. But this one, there won't be any more because there'll be no more houses on this run. So you can go there. Let's employ you. And we'll put in basically what we have available now. We'll add more stalls to them as we get more products available. Right now, we've got flour, potato, milk, and fish. That's what's available right now. So, for that matter, we could stick one more in right there for this corner of, of houses. Um, there? Yeah. Can you do that? I think you'll pretty much fit there. Spin you around... Let's zoom out a little, get a little better perspective there. T to right there, okay. Now, drop you down. Now, one thing I have noticed, I've kind of practiced this a little bit. The fences are not all that... The hitbox for this guy is actually just the, the boxes that the food goes in. I can sit on top of the fence, so I have to be careful I don't push back too far. So I guess we'll just do it kind of like that. Just eked it. No, I don't like that. Demolish. It's hard to get an angle. I, I need to see from two directions at the same time, and I can't. If I go over here so I can try to do that, I still can't really tell 
And okay, I can see a fence post there, and I can see a fence post there. All right, let's drop you in there. And the back looks okay. All right, so you are employed, and you also can go start building the uh, the, the basics. And fish. Okay, with that we can turn all these off. And I don't know if she will unload. Others will come and take the stocks here. I'm thinking she has to be no longer employed there for that to happen. They're tearing this down completely. We're just finishing up now with the uh, the town hall. I'll put it in here, but I think I've got to get rid of this tent first, which means I need to get the... Oh, I didn't put it in. I need to get the granary uh, uh, in. But I have to get this out before I can do any of that. Okay, awaiting fish. Awaiting, so she... Oh, somebody was making that delivery? I don't know. But let's turn all these on just to get this to happen. You... Oh, you were on your way to load up when you got fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Now you're disgustedly going home. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> but others should start stripping this down when it's empty. We'll get rid of it. We'll set these two buildings, or at least what we can in here then. Okay, well, on that, with that done, I want to... How's our... Are the oxen? He's just picking them up now. Let's speed up a little bit right there. Okay. He's going to lead him in. Now, this was frustrating last episode because I was really expecting that... Hmm. Is that a K? To King? Can't tell. I, I wish I could move my mouse. Looks like T-A-K-I-N-G from this distance. Was going to look at this field and say, well, there's that much red and green left. I think we want potatoes in here next. And drop a potato in there. And this field here, there's nothing we can do with that. This needs to be fallow. And I figured all these would auto-fill in with the next crop. That's what automatic means to me. Turns out what automatic means is I can make my best guesses down the whole length here and it'll automatically switch over. But that's not that easy to do because I don't know what the growth is actually going to be to know how much of these got used to know which crop really qualifies to go back in next. It's still got to be done year by year to do it right. If you're just randomly throwing in another a different crop trying to rotate, you're still going to end up with the wrong combinations. You know, maybe eventually you can get to where you, you you automatically know the patterns, but even then, if you don't have enough workers showing up for work, then they may get it in late, and you're still going to get such a low growth that it's not going to be accurate. So automatic doesn't necessarily mean automatic the way I had intended. So this crop right here is not going to get anything. Sunflower, um, how best to show you that? Let's make a a new field real quick. Sunflower requires a whole bunch of red, 100%. 60 green and 30 blue. This has in it, right now, no red at all. So this crop is, there will be zero growth. Nothing is going to grow there. And I can't deactivate it because we're during the season and I can't kill it in any way. Even over here, I can't uh, use my, my powers that be Whoa, I was able to switch that out? Oh, no, 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 that's this one. That's this one. Because I went to do that afterward out of frustration, and I kept getting this. Okay, <laughs> that surprised me, because it's not activated. Okay, and I cannot deactivate it in the season either. So there's not a thing I can do to kill the labor from wasting their time going to a crop that's not going to do anything, and I can't even follow it out to take advantage of it not doing anything. So that was frustrating. I really thought this was going to automatically select the best crop for the nutrients that were left. So the homework done on that one. That's just uh, that's just unfortunate, but it's it's what it is. Um, these houses are being built. Oh, okay. What happened here? Trading posts were waiting for them to come and get the ten potatoes, and they never did. Do we still have any sense? We do not. Okay. Maybe because I didn't have 10 in stock, they didn't even try to go for the 8 that were there. That could have been it. And I'm not going to spend 30 to go call them back. 
these guys messenger these guys messenger yeah now there was one run of i think this city that has shown up in the middle of last episode showed up right up here and i didn't notice it i did see it when i was editing but that's fine now one of those two does provide salt and when we get into more cattle and into uh slaughtering and then tanning we're gonna need the salt for the tanning so probably should get some of that on its way soon but yeah i was hoping to be able to sell off the potatoes just to be able to bring in that 80. in fact let's do something more like um yeah let's do 12 times 8 96 we'll do 13. we do have a decent potato um crop coming in we have one is that right? No, that's hemp. That's hemp. Potato here. Nah, well, yeah. Yeah. Potato. I got rid of it. I didn't. Potato uses 40 and 30. This one has in it 30 and 16. So when the 16 runs out, that's when that one ends. Um, potato was this guy as well. We have enough in here. For a full potato run here. Hey, we have somebody. Okay. So, potato's going to come in fine. You are wheat. You were needing what to have a full run? Um, actually, you're fairly uh, lenient too. 50 and 60. And you've got yet 46 and 60. So, we have the potential to go quite a ways into potato and wheat and another good run of hemp. Good. So, when we do get the, uh, the linen part, the linen industry going, we'll have two years of of two good fields of, of hemp but we're gonna have to follow out most of this next time just to uh, uh, just to, to make these things functional again hmm. how's fish coming fish is happening six fish in there great in fact let's take you down um, you 30 wood and two animals are in you're gonna start animals are there yep so you're gonna start working on that aren't you in fact you're gonna start right now great while you're doing that I'm not running at a fast speed right now because I got a lot I want to cram into this episode. But um, in fact, I might. I've been running two episodes a day the last couple days, maybe three days. So if you've only been watching one a day, you know, just hitting the most recent one, actually, you probably missed every other one. Just to kind of let you know, I was right now. Ostrov is hot. It's there are a lot of channels doing it, and there's a lot of people looking for it. In fact, I've had over 50. Uh, subscribers join the channel just in the in the uh, 10 or 12 episodes that, that I've put up here and episode one is getting in fact by the time this comes out we'll probably be real close to a thousand views on that one so this game people are really interested in right now so I want to get quite a bit of content out while people are looking for it so I've been putting out two a day um, I think this time that uh, well tomorrow for me but today for you I'm just gonna put out one episode so I'll probably run it a little bit long yeah, maybe get into the 40 to 50 minute range um, while he's doing that. What's over here? Smithy, and we have plenty of nails. So we don't need to do that. Let's take him up just a little bit. There we go. Now we're building a plow. Once that's done, we'll slow back down and continue. Otherwise, we're getting a couple of houses in, which we do need. There we are. We've got us a plow. Now, slow down. I always wonder why I was made in the carpenter shop and not the smithy. Is that not supposed to be like a steel uh, plate that drops into the soil? Maybe he just went over to the smithy and bought that one piece, but otherwise the rest of it's wood. Okay, I guess it's mostly like a wagon. Um, so that's speed one. He's doing that when the crops do start up next time. Then the plow will go through first and start plowing. And as soon as he's done... He'll drop to the next field while the sowers all fall in behind him. So it will delay things, but only by the pass of one field. Then the sowers will follow behind, and as he's done, they'll follow behind again, and it'll be fine. And that should happen year round, or year after year, I believe. I have experimented with it, but only one year. I haven't gone to the second year, but I think it's year after year. All right, so you guys are working on this. We're going to get this going. Now, can I get into here yet? How are you doing? You are emptying. We're down to only 0.4 fish. So you're almost emptied. And I cannot demolish until it is emptied. So I'll wait for that to be done. Um, and then what I'm thinking of, I'll show you, is to get the granary in. Let's see. T, no, R, facing inward and right up against that fence. 
Oh, it's so touchy. Something like that, but I want it centered more. Actually, we can almost get that in. All right, I'll show you what I mean. He extends right on through the fence. The only thing that stops him is the houses, but the fence doesn't stop him. If I were to rotate him like this, I could sink him right into there. So I've got to be careful how the fence actually sits behind him. So the diagonal shadow comes off the inside corner right there. Okay. So if I were to head up into here, I want to kind of center on that back fence there, and that's pretty much it. Now my diagonal, if I were to do you a little bit more. Okay. Diagonal is, uh, the shadow is there. But now I really can't see if I'm, well, I accidentally clicked. Now I want them over just a little bit more. Let's try that again. But I think I can put them in without taking that, that market out. I didn't think I could. All right, you're there. The diagonal shadow. See, I can't see both both directions at once. It needs to be right there. Yeah, we're, we're not that far from having this done. Let's just wait. And then once that's built, this will go away. And I think that will leave me enough room for the town hall building to go in. Right up in here. It's close. I think I can just eke them in up next to this building's orange square, like right in there. I think that will work. But this has got to go away first. Then this goes away. Okay. So we're reestablishing our pathways here. We are... I see, we only have a reserve of two hay and two water. So I can't really... Yeah, I can say we could just, you know, let her do something else right now because there's nothing more to do. But as soon as I do that, I'm going to forget. Winter's going to hit, the cows are going to come in, and they're going to starve because I forgot to put a worker in there. So I guess we'll just uh, give her a, a, a paycheck that, uh, that goes all the way through the year. Now, there is our plow. He just, they just kind of, uh, you know, park right there for the year. <laughs> um, what else? Let me look at my list right here. Weaver and Taylor. Let's lay that out. Yeah, we're not going to accomplish a lot. Well, I guess I could go to speed two while we're doing this. Where to? And really, one of, what I'm kind of discovering is it's pathways that kind of dictates where you put things if you want to make the town look good. One thing I don't really care for is this big arch. The pathway is just too big through here. You know, the little one is even too big in, in places. You know, this this is more than enough room for a cart to get through, for two carts to get through. This is a two-lane road right here. So, that's... It, it looks unneat when... Or not neat when there is grass kind of randomly scattered throughout. I guess that's what I'm trying to... I'm trying to s s solid this area out a bit. Um, I know we're going to want more houses over here. Yeah, we've got plenty of food right now. You've got seven fish. There's fish in... Yeah, there's... Oh, it's only 0.2? I guess they're taking them out as they're, as they're getting them. 0.3... Point, oh, 1. Am I looking at the wrong thing? 1. No, 0.2. You guys are newer, that's why. Okay. Uh, fish over here, 7.3. And you have 7 of it. So what is that 7.3? There's 7.1, you're 7. Awaiting 1. Because over here we had a whole fish, so there's 8. So it's not counting these. There's 6.9, and we're 6.9. So this is showing storage in the production buildings. It's not showing what's out in the markets, let alone what's in the houses. Interesting. Okay. Um... How are we doing otherwise? Now, I can't order two plows, can I? It really wouldn't make sense. I would. I kind of wish this would gray out when it was done. Um, so over here, we have a manager. I'm not going to hire people. I want them to be able to float around and do things, job, jobs like this. Hey, Stuart, I wonder why they are not going out to to put these away so we can get new, uh, new hay on here. I don't quite understand what the holdup is. We've got three women without jobs. They are qualified to do this work. I 
don't know. This is half full. Someone could be over here filling it back up. These definitely could have all these emptied and put into them. So I don't know what, what causes that. The, last year, none of this happened either. I'm thinking when there's nobody working here, they can be doing this on the off-season and then get back here for the harvest, as well as other jobs we're going to lay out later. Let's go ahead and get these houses in just because I can't think of where I want to put the other buildings at the moment. Something like that, and we're going to start rotating down toward there. Like that, hold the shift, and we'll do one more out in here. Yeah, I think so. So your guys are going to go there, and that will guarantee that there's jobs near this cluster of buildings. These guys are going to be near this cluster of buildings. These guys be near this and this. So if by chance there is within the game right now the mechanism for the people employed here to be attracted to taking a job right here and so we can live near work you know, I want to at least make sure I've got housing nearby you now maybe there's a house or two that needs to be done out here eventually but I kind of want to establish that that's even a thing before I go to the treble otherwise that's a long ways out for the person that's going to be you know working the uh, uh, the weaver or something out in this area all right so we've got one person here and we're maxed out there we will have all kinds of laborers when this happens um we're in july i don't get the sense that we have any kind of harvesting happening until august hits growth is still dying at about here and i really wonder if plowing is what makes up the difference for the rest of it a plowed field Will it grow faster? Will it get into the three-quarter to seven-eighths mark? There's, there was plenty of, of uh, fertilizer. And even this one last time, full field of fertilizer. First one planted, last one harvested, and we only got to about five-eighths. So I wonder if plowing is the missing ingredient. That's something I'm curious to see what happens. Though I may need to lay out a brand new farm complex because we're going to have at least four fallowed fields here. Hmm, do we do that real quick? Do we shoot out this right here and put one in? We could, and just kind of mothball this for a year. That might be a, a way to do it. With July, we may be able to pull it off in time, too. We have it all through the winter to get it going. Let's, let's assume that that is important, and when we're done with that, we could then... Um, uh, yeah, this will be our, our secondary farm. Um, just something else popped into my mind as I was thinking about that. One, I could actually follow the green this time and make it line up. But um, we could use this farm's field tool to generate fields over here to figure out what we want, where we want this farm to be. What do you think about that? Hmm. And then we could reassociate the fields back to this farm when it's done just by you click a field and you say assign to other I can't do it in season but then you would click on this farm over here I like that idea let's spend a little time doing that um, you farm and problem is where to you're there I'm not gonna put them back to back let's just put individual buildings out and even then it would probably look good not to do the the city neighborhood thing as we go along get a farm and a farmhouse and then the fields i don't know problem is we've got so many different jobs that are associated with a farm you've got the the mill two people you've got the farm up to 10 people um but we don't necessarily have to have another cow shed and all that so really it's just the mill and the farm two houses three houses Two men, two women. Three houses max. Okay. Hmm. Farm and spin around. Does it matter? I want this orientation. I want, actually that's lined up right now with the green or are we doomed to make everything match the unevenness of the town? <laughs> Get out here, it won't show as bad, will it? Um, let's see, go up a little further, right there. So I want you lined up pretty much like so. 
Yep, that looks good. It'd be a straight path out there. And I need to get fields around you, and I need not, need not to touch the back of the houses there. So we're probably out at a place like this. I think that's it. Okay. Now, just remember... In fact, let's do that again so I can count. Farm, you are right there. So I've got a door at... Pretty much that flag to about halfway in. Okay. Just looking over my other screen, there's uh, messages popping in from the previous episode. I just released that about an hour ago. So comments are already starting to flow in. And they're going to distract me. <laughs> Let's add a field. Pathway is going to come up through here. So I want a space. Where do I want the entrances, though? I'm thinking I want them this way. Hmm. You, you can be a longer one. Long and skinny. Which puts the entrance right there. That's no good. But skinny is how we're going to have to to live here. I think I may have that farm a little bit too close. That's why I want to lay these out before that thing built. But we're going to follow the green lines in the field. And we're going to go out to about like that. I don't want to leave a road behind. Your output of 10. Yeah, the farm is too close. By how far? Let's go back to about right there. So you... Am I going to be able to track that? I'm probably not. Then let's give me a marker. Let's put a fence in there. Uh, fence right there. So I want the farm in from there to there. And right alongside of it. Okay. So you demolish farm. And do I rotate it around? No, I can't because it'll put the entrance on the other side. But you're going to be right about there and you need to be on this green line over here. So you're more like that. Right there. Okay. You go away and give me a field. I want you where? Okay. That's the entrance, so right about there, and I want out a road's length. And I think I do want the entrance somewhere over here. And we're going to shoot across. Now, do you look somewhat in line from there? No, you don't. Okay. In line from there is something like that. Okay. 13. Boy, something's off. Boy, that's hard to do. It is. It's never going to look right, is it? Not until maybe we can talk uh, Yveni to uh, give us a north-south, east-west snap. That would make things so much easier. I want to go 15 at the max. I want to do smaller fields this time. That moved it, but whatever that was, that's what it is. Okay. So there, and yeah, you're off. Hmm... Okay, I need to do it from this direction this time. You demolish where we start right there. Okay, what was that? That was probably a house. Yeah, right there. Um, you farm right there, right there. I'll do it from this orientation. You are going to go out. No. Nope. A little more. That looks pretty parallel to the farm. And there's a 15. Okay. Now, I want another one to come off about a road's height from there. So snap to that fence post. Go out a road past. About like that. And, okay, so need to go right there. Oh, you're too close. Okay. So you're going to go in a half a fence post to there. All right. You're going to about that area. Yeah, something like that. All right, there's a 10. And I think our problem is right there. So I'm going to take you just a slight bit that way. 
There you go. Do we do 15s? The plow might be the answer to why we're not getting full growth. So I'm going to go ahead and lock in a 15. Okay, another one. I like the shape, though. I like the way this is looking. So if we did that and went down like so and match that one, I think so. That looks fairly close there. There, out here, and let's R. Hmm. That's a problem. There's a match to it, but I want the door here and I can't get it because if we do that, because it, it counts the entire length of it, even though the door is actually within. Uh, okay, well, then I guess we're going to put a road out the bottom right there. Okay, so the next one starts right here. It does what? We're starting to. That's right, we are allowed to drop down a hill with, with pastures. Messenger from Marefa. Marefa? Mm. Marefa. Marefa. <laughs> okay, right there. And you're these guys. You've got hemp and wheat that you want to sell us. And you want to buy sunflower and sunflower oil. And our sunflower is dead for the year because it won't grow. So I don't want to give up any now. We're going to pass on you. But thank you very much. Come back again next time. And you are a new family. Ah, okay. All right. Let's continue laying this out. Otherwise, how are we doing over here? You should be done by now. Yeah, let's demolish you. And we did get... We didn't, because I wanted to move it in a little bit further. Okay. This one is paused. We can move you back over there. You're not that critical. In fact, I wish I could make you go away now, but I can't. But I'm afraid to hit the delete. Because uh, once I hit the delete on the, on the well over on the last map, that's when everything went bad. So I don't want it to tell me, no, you can't delete it. And by the way, if you move it in the queue, I'm going to crash your game. So I'm not touching that thing. It's just going to be a permanent six flags for a, for a while. But let's go ahead and set in the granary over here and rotate you this way. Get you parallel. That looks decent, but not great. Uh, just touch that T and you're... There. Okay, if I hold a little longer than normal and then tap back. I cheat it just a tiny bit. I cannot. Okay. Well, that's what I get. So you're there, and I want you centered. And the diagonal shadow on the top right lands right at the back. And I think that's about as good as we're going to get. You're going there. And we want you in anytime sooner. It'd be nice to get the labor in. We do have the uh, the people, uh, the, the food to, to feed them. So let's go ahead and work on concentrate on houses. Though I do need you in. I do need you in. Yeah, I need you in. You gotta go next. Um, otherwise, how are we looking people-wise? We've got only one woman looking for a job right now. Um, I was probably here, unemployed, and you've got wealth of 9.99 and going up because you're a laborer. Um, I tell you, there's there's a whole bunch of hay dryers here that I'd really love for you to work on. Now, can you help? You know, can you can you load that up for me? <laughs> It'd be nice. All right, so you're gonna go there, and hopefully some laborers are gonna call for that. Where do we want to put more? Wow, well, you're off. <laughs> yeah, when you look at it that way, you know I've got something to go by now. Let's demolish you. I can still do this, and I'm not affecting anything. You're going to go in there. We're going to spin you around. And you're there. And I want you like that. Now I can actually lay you out so you fit. All right. I'm happy. And that is just going to have to be off. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's grab another. Get that farm just into view. There you are. Another field. Now I was trying to come up with a number. It can handle six. But six seems to guarantee that something's never going to get done. So I was thinking of doing less. Although I forgot that I'm going to want to have some fallow fields in here. You don't want to do that, do you? Hmm. i got to come back a long way to make that work. All the way to here. Because those cones stick out quite a ways. So I guess you're just going to have to do that. Okay. You're 15 there. Um, what was I saying? How many? 
run four at a time but have two of them followed. So we're running two fields, or four fields per farm at, at any one time and two fallow that kind of rotates itself around. Does that kind of work out? It might. The five here really means that I'm only going to have three of them active because there will be, right, you know, I could have fallowed out two of these easily last time. You, you, the potatoes don't take much. So you can always sneak in potatoes for the most part. But that just takes it down to the very bottom. And you have to follow it even longer to bring the nutrients back. Hmm. Not sure. But let's go ahead and finish this pattern. I'm, I'm liking the way this is looking. Now I did want to get a windmill in somewhere. And I did want to get a house or two in somewhere. These houses could have effectively worked here too. Um, another field. And I cannot see anymore. All right, so we want to be out about like this and like this. So grab you, take you across. That's that's a bigger run. Let's go back half. And how far over here? You're kind of like that. And I didn't get a warning that um, that our our cone of doom over here is in trouble. So we could do something like that. That's a 16 instead of a 15. Um, yep, that'll work. Now, do we do one more to finish the pattern? Or do we do what we did over here and get the support in here? I kind of like that. We could also go back to the same thing of one more field popping out over here as the backup field. I kind of like that too. Let's do that. You, another field, and... You, let's take you to something like this, there, and the same distance. So one, two, one, two, three, four sections, one, two, three, four sections, and parallel looks about like that. Too small. Okay. So head you into there. 15 keeps us out of the trees. That yeah, looks pretty centered to there. Okay, I like that. So there's the new farm layout. Hopefully this can get done. Oh, I I killed that one, didn't I? You're going to go there. Um, yep, you can be next. Just to clip out this one tree right there. Just so you're ready to go. Need at least two foresters to move a tree. We got rid of a forester because we had so many logs in place. We're down to eight logs now, so yeah, let's put another one in. Um, People-wise, we are still doing fine on jobs. What am I seeing there? Open vacancies too for women. I see. Open vacancies. There's 35 open vacancies for men? Because all of these labor positions are vacancy, aren't they? I think that's what it is. We're into July. We are still not got any sense of we're, we're in the ripening stage. Yeah. No growth at all. We got to half growth there. We've got We ran out of nutrients there. Our green is pretty much gone. Okay. That was potatoes too. No, that was wheat. Darn. Okay. Um, wheat in storage, still 13. We've got nobody working there. Uh, okay. Field, so you did get to uh, two thirds. Nice. Halfway over here, and we ran out of a nutrient. All right, so we're hurting on nutrients. Once winter hits, we'll figure out what will take only red and green and can get another year out of this one. And there might be something that can work in that. This one is going to have to go fallow. There's no choice there. In fact, I can throw that in right now. Um, yeah, so we'll figure all that out when it happens. Anyway, um, so what is next? Let me look down my list. Weaver and Taylor wanted to get in. Rotate the market stall. Oh, when I watched two episodes ago as I was editing, I was going to turn that market stall around, aim this way, and leave behind the the granary, but I've decided it's to move them completely. So let's go ahead and put one more in over here. Uh, another market stall. You're there, right there, and you can be in this area. And spin you around like so. That looks pretty good. Yeah, good enough. And now I need to see the back side to there. I can't, the other side is in the shadows. Can I do it from here? Kind of. Kind of something like that. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay. 
so I've got four market stalls going on right now. Right now they're all selling the same thing because that's all we've got. We've got a worker there. You are set up for, that's correct. We've got a worker here. Same thing there. Everything is set up here. Over here, worker, same thing. And set correctly. And this one, worker. And who gets to work here? Marina. Mariana. Mariana. Okay. Mariana works there. She ran our market stall over in uh, our other town, too. And that is correct. And let's give her flour and potato and milk and fish. And then we'll set up a second one nearby. I wonder if I should have rotated that around. Get two of them side by side right there. We'll get two of them side by side here. Yeah, there'll be another one eventually out over here, which means I need to fence that off too in front of these guys. But we'll wait till we get them built so I can really see what I'm paralleling up against. I have a feeling I'm getting close to a long episode now, aren't I? All right, back to that list. Um, temporary fields for one year. I thought about just popping some more fields out around in here to try to keep this going but I've changed my mind since, really just since starting recording this episode to do this system here. So now we just need to get this built before March 1st. Hopefully that happens. Um, plow, potato sale, yeah, we saw all that. Did the granary and yeah, so I've got everything done except for where to put the weaver and tailor and to get that going. So that when this year's harvest is done, those buildings will be in place and ready to work. Um, what do we want to get paused? Let's pause you. Well, you got to click on almost the building, not the grass, to get this to pop up. That's interesting. Pause you. I click there. Now it works. Really? Okay, let's get out over here, and I'll go back in. It works every time. I don't know how many times I've gone up here and clicked, and had nothing happened. Except for when I want to demonstrate it. You're kind of important, but you're not that important. I really want this in. I want that field done. I want one more house done. And then one more house is closer, so they're probably going to continue working on it. Now, over in here, let's think about this. Though so I guess I don't need to install it yet. Now, let's wait on this. Once that's built, we can lay out the carts. We can lay out the windmill and probably two houses out in here. And should we have left another path somewhere? Is that a problem over here? To only have a path in, path out. Should we squeeze a field off and get a path going another direction for any reason? I can't think of a reason right now. If you can, toss something in the, in the, the uh, comments. And also, what do you know about this system that I don't? It seems like when we were doing this before in the, the previous map that all through the summer they were coming out here filling this up and dumping this off and and you know we've had one woman except for now because of that uh, that last market that went in available the entire time and yet none of this seems to have been done. We still have the 1.98 and 4, 4, 4 and 4 and we've got 4 in here and none. We're going to use up these 4 and we're going to run out of... Uh, Hey, for these cows because we're not doing anything anymore. Do I need to destroy these? Can I? Demolish? I can. Well, let's pop one new one in real quick just to see if something kind of bugged out on me. Let's spin you around the other way though, so kind of like the diagonal. Let's pop you in right... Oh, really? Place is occupied. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that one little pixel is all it needed. And you're running over to do this. What's going on? I don't know. But I have this sense that I need to be destroying these guys and get this to happen because something has gone wrong. So let's just do that real quick. You, could I have done this better? probably no reason why not to do that hold the shift down to you I can't get another one in though um, you you have somebody assigned yeah all of a sudden they're working hmm 
I'll leave these two and we'll see if they ever do unload. But these three will guarantee us the the season, guarantee us the winter for this few number of, of cattle. Do these cows, they really don't. I was going to say, are they still being fed? But they're not associated with this this uh, cow shed anymore. So there's no way to say that you know I can track, plow, show path. Okay. Don't know what the bar is. But there's no sense of feeding and watering here anymore. Okay. So I think I better call this one done. I like the direction we're heading now. I don't want to just drop things in randomly. I want to actually plan this out. But I'm not someone that can just off the top of my head in, you know, visualize the whole thing and know exactly where it's going to go. I'm the one that lays it out and then watches it again as I edit it and then realize, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Well, they haven't built it yet. I can still delete that and redo it. All right, let's do that instead. So, you know, if I can go back and, you know, think about it, then I can change things and make them look good. Unlike Vapa, who probably already has his entire map already envisioned. <laughs> and he's all ready to go. I can't do that. I gotta, I've got to stop and think about things. But this is probably our most important goal for next episode. Get the backup farm system in place and then put all this to rest for a while and then get housing to feed this thing for, with workers. But let's call this one done here. It's the Noble Rambler, and I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.